to Tuesday. And as you saw, the time is 10 something. <laughs> I've forgotten already. Yes, the export uh, worked first time using shortcut. Try to think what I set the alarm. Oops, excuse me. Um, I don't know what time. So should, should we say four ish? Excuse me. Uh, so I jumped out of bed, checked on the Checked on the, 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 checked on the export, uh, checked on the file, the MP4 file, just scrubbed along, yeah, it's looked okay. Still got that old sound. Makes swallowing really hard. Um, so I uploaded it. Uh, then I made, then I looked for the thumbnail and did the thumbnail as well, pretty quick, easy to do, applied that, then I thought I was going to go back to bed and do the rest in bed, you know, the, on the YouTube app, but I thought while I was there, I was going to carry on, and it takes a few seconds and surely enough, and then, uh, it was going to upload and go public when it's ready. So that would have taken about, I think, 45 minutes. So I thought, what with the, that's just the upload and it's going to process it. So I thought I'll give it an hour. So I went back to bed, set the alarm for another hour. And in an hour's time, I it went off, got out of bed. It was uploaded, turned off the laptop, let it rest. It's resting now. We'll let it rest for at least six hours. This is seven o'clock. Yeah, it was seven o'clock. Um, and although I'm having these breaks in the sleep, I am feeling more tired now, but at least I'm, I'm actually sleeping easy. I was looking to the Hollywood Reporter um, doing a YouTube video on the writers and I was listening to like five minutes of it and then I was asleep and then tomorrow back to bed I just went to sleep again easy as that so I had a good sleep, but because of the breaks, I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit tired. So now I'm going to, there isn't much to wash up, only a plate and a cup. And this the evening's sandwich. So I'm practically ready to do the beans on toast and watch the video that's just uh, gone up. I've also got to watch the rest of The Outsider. I've got to start watching The Pale Horse, an Agatha Christie thriller. I don't know if it's a who done it yet. And that's about it. There's a show that I'm looking forward to. It's coming out so it's coming out this month called Flesh and Blood, which they filmed in in I was gonna say Sussex, but they, they filmed it in Eastport, they filmed it in I saw the trailer for the first time about last week and oops excuse me. I could see they filmed it on the South Downs just here, Beachy Head. They filmed it at Burning Gap and of course they they had location shooting at Norman's Bay. And that's starting in February. I now have a date for that. It's going to be, it's going to, it's going to follow when Cold Feet finishes, which is the Monday, I believe it's the Monday night slot. Not 
sure. I think it's the 24th. I'm sure that's on Monday. I'm sure it follows Cold Feet, which is a Monday. Yeah. So when, when Cold Feet finishes, Flesh and Blood starts, and that's Monday, the 24th of February. And it's over four nights consecutively, which is what they've done with. Another Dini Afdinis, another Louise Hooper directed drama that was on last year. That was the other four consecutive nights. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's a one world, one single word. Oh, cheat. Cheat. Right. I'm going to commence with the breakfast.
to make geocon cranium toast and whilst I'm doing that I'm going to transfer some files Right, all the files have been transferred. Chilicon Kani is ready. Now it's a question of watching what. It's one of three things. I have a watch. The next episode, or episode two of The Outsider, or watch episode one of The Pale Horse, or I watch my recently uploaded video again for a second time. Yeah, give me your choice. Right, I had a chili con carne and a coffee. I was watching the pale horse. That was the decision. That's what I decided to watch of the three choices. Well, I say I watched it. It's only episode one, so it's about 50, 50 minutes. But somewhere in the last 20 minutes, I just fell asleep. Woke up and something else started after it. Um, I thought it was Luther looking at the, the cast, cast up uh, the credits, opening credits, but it wasn't Luther. It was something else. And I think it was something from twenty thirteen, in fact. But yeah, I was, I just drifted away. I was conscious as well, and then I was out. And now I feel much better for you. I feel revigorated. So I'm going to uh, start on the edit at about, turn this off, I think quarter past four, I believe. Oh, it's on the screen. Yes. 1616. 16. So I'm going to use shortcut now. I'm not going to use Da Vinci. I don't even fancy looking at Da Vinci anymore. The, the export situation is just atrocious. So therefore I'll stick with shortcut. At least I'm guaranteed. Yeah, although it's a long export 
and a heavy, a huge uh, file. The export does work first time and the quality is good regardless. And uh, the editing isn't pretty bad either. It's quite simple. And the lagging I can live with. So taking all that into account and the time and so I have to watch the rest of the, the I haven't fin <laughs> I have to watch the rest of the Pale Horse episode one in my next break. Also have I said it's a Tuesday? Yes, it's a Tuesday. And it hasn't been too windy today. Although the forecast does say 40, whatever the measurement is. Winds per second, winds per hour. So here we go. I was reluctant to get to have this because I've got an ulcer and this is this is sort of sharp but it's bitter I keep thinking I've got a sofa but it's not it's because um, the tongue is part of the swallowing organ So uh, every time the muscles in the tongue are used to swallow, that's where I'm feeling the aggravation. So I haven't got a sofa, it's just, oh, that has irritated it. It's not sharp, it's bitter, but there's a bit of sharp in it. Anyway, I'm just droning on about nothing. Right, here we go. Twenty past eight in the evening, and I've, I've started the export. I was going to take a break two hours ago and have marmalade on toast, but uh, I was really into the uh, edit. <laughs> so while it's happening, it hasn't given me an ETA yet. It's only up to one percent. I'm going to not have my mud on toast, but I'm going to have a couple of sandwiches, a couple of crisp, and a mug of coffee, and another pint of water. And then I'll watch the rest of the the pale hot, sorry, the pale horse. Um, the last 20 minutes which I fell, as fell asleep through and then on to uh, Outsider, the Outsider episode 2 yeah, it's beginning to uh, liven up now that, that show right, no point me just sitting here waffling on time to leave this alone now Probably, oh, I reckon it's going to be 380 minutes. What's that? Just 
after the six hours. <laughs> so around 4 p.m. I'll be getting up to check on its check on the progress. Right, so that's the latest. <laughs> past 11 and in the evening of course and 41% is complete 4 hours 22 minutes remaining so we're looking at midnight 17 1 17 2 17 317 yeah 3 317 304 so around the 3 a.m. mark it should be uh, exported I've just watched excuse me I've seen the rest of the Pale Horse, episode one, and it's quite gripping. I've seen episodes two and three of The Outsider, and episode three, and I think I mentioned it when I first mentioned The Outsider, that Cynthia Erivo's in it. My goodness, I can't get away from her now, she's everywhere. Unfortunately, she didn't win any of the two Oscars she was nominated for. Although I did hear her. I remember I was saying that I was listening to the Oscars on on a pirate YouTube video, and uh, it wasn't visual; it was audio. So I listened to it like a podcast, and I heard her sing her song that was up for an Oscar. And it was very good. It's called Stand Up. And uh, she goes up in scales, and of course, the higher she got, you hear the, all, the audience cheering her on. So she's just amazing. And uh, episode three just finished, and I got up to leave the room, and I paused it, and I paused it on the credit, the end credit and it's just one name on the screen and it's her name, Cynthia Erivo. So I, I didn't mean to do that, it just I don't know, I don't know what it means. But yeah. So now I'm gonna watch episode four. It's only twenty past eleven, so I can squeeze in one more episode. I think I've had, I had so many power naps during the day that I'm, I'm kind of alert at the moment. Anyway, because it's 20 past 11, this will probably be the last segment of today's vlog. Therefore, it leaves me to say thank you for watching. It's uh, most appreciative, appreciated. And I hope to see you in the next one, metaphorically speaking. Until then, ciao.